Hello there. Welcome to Scott Lynch Pop. My name is Scott Lynch. In today's video, I felt a little bit guilty. I promised people on Facebook that I was going to interview a bunch of people when I went to the FA event in Oklahoma City. Unfortunately, I never really had a good time to interview those people. However, there were five questions I was going to ask during the interview. I decided to get to how do you cope with having a freezing ataxia. It's basically the way I cope with it myself. I try to do whatever I can on my own. I still go to work. I go to work at least nine hours plus a day. And that includes lunchtime hour break for that. I also like to do these videos. Basically my purpose is pretty much having a now, if you find your purpose, you can permit to cope with anything. And I feel my purpose is to help people do whatever I can. I like that to, to be pointing things out, telling them where things are, telling people how to use things. As you know, if you see any of my videos, I don't have exactly the best motor skills, and my voice is a little bit slurred. So I try my best to do what I can. The next question that I was going to ask people is what makes you smile? One thing that really has made me smile, I can remember when the freaking text event that I went to was actually down in Atlanta, Georgia. And they did a bike ride there. And this was also the very first event I went to. When we went there, there was a little girl probably I'm guessing around seven, eight, nine years old, was that old. Had freezing dyslexia, could barely walk. Yet she was happy to go for this bike ride. They actually bought her a uh, used, small, recumbent bike. And she was able to ride that. And it was the highlight of her day. Do that, she was so happy to go and do that. When she retired, she was very happy, had a huge smile on her face. But yet, her legs from the chain on the bike, a gang caught the chains, her legs were cut, and had black oil all over her legs. Yet, she was very happy. I thought that was quite inspirational. The next question I have on the question list is, what tips or tricks do you have to use in your daily activities? What well, one thing helps you daily the most? Well, first of all, when you've already seen my bed, I have the adjustable bed, which really helps me out a lot in the morning. Actually, that's how I eat breakfast in the morning. I'm nice in bed and eat that, so I don't, you know, stay on the chair as long as I can. I also, Get ready at the electrolyzer in my bathroom, which that really helps out throughout the day as well. That'll be at least getting dry. Another big trick that I have at work, not only do I have this laser pointer here, but I also like keep my phone on another thing, just like what this is. This is a simple keychain. I just tap to my chair or to my seatbelt, and it keeps me from dropping things in the floor. I tend to drop myself out quite a bit while I work until I get these works out quite well. And also whenever I have a customer at work, I'm trying to explain how to get something off the shelf. I always use this little job to point out exactly where it is. That also uses to point out boxes up in the overhead that have to have fellow employees to get down. So, just to wrap things up, this little laser pointer, how I keep it attached. I do the same for my phone. Probably had to be out there the other day. A little special trick that you find learned. Yeah. My next question that I need to answer is what kind of job do you have, especially for those who have progressed to the point of very low fine butter skills? 
Well, I think I pretty much qualified for that question. As I myself, as you can tell, I have a low mobility of what I can do. Basically, as you know, I work at Home Depot. I do what I can, try to answer as many questions as what I can. I also have pretty much memorized the store that I'm currently at, which, by the way, I haven't mentioned it before, but the store I'm currently at, I will be changing stores. Actually, it will be about a week and a half from now. Basically, I'm moving from to Nashville, Tennessee. So that's a, one of the big things that we have going. That's why I can't really show too much of the house up. So because there's nothing in the rest of the house. This is the only room that still has everything in there. Well, not everything. I'm, we moved out a few things already, but it's got the most stuff in there right now. The last question that I was going to be uh, need to answer is perhaps you could ask what kind of hobbies people have or perhaps how they pass time for things like that. Well, basically one thing that I love to do to pass time, as you've seen, I've been doing the nonprofit, which that nonprofit is the place of first community for adults with FA, free drink protection. In fact, I put a link to the video of that below, along with the website for that, for the nonprofit. Anyway, I love doing that ever. Just any kind of research ever all that I can find. I like to read books. Obviously, I like doing YouTube videos. I'm not quite the greatest, but it is a good way for me to pass time. And then I'm thinking later on, once we get the place permits going, hopefully, you know, I'll need somebody there that can help me edit these videos. Things like that, some other things I've learned, how to do the editing of these videos. I'd love to teach people how to do some of that stuff. Just some general things like I'll do woodwork. Right now I don't really have time to do much of the work, but that is something that I'd love to do. I like to ride a bike, do a little bit of exercises here and there. Just really depends on what is going on and where I'm at. If you have any questions that you'd love for me to answer, please leave those in the comments for me. I'd love to get some more questions and answer more, do one more I can for people. If you found any of this useful, please give me a thumbs up. That'd be great to help me spread these videos. Hopefully I can help find somebody to help out there. Anyways, thank you all for watching.